Hi, it's Stuart from Airshow World and uh, thanks for joining me on uh, this tutorial number three for the uh, CRT Superstar 990. Okay, uh, today we're going to have a quick look at um, the menus. Okay, so if you hold this button in here for two seconds, here we go, one, two, okay. So you then scroll through the different menus, okay? Now, I'm not going to go into all of these. Certainly, uh, I'm not going to go anywhere near reset. Okay. So, colour. Say, for example, you wanted to change the colour. At night, quite often, I use red. It's better on the eyes, I think. Um, and there we go so you choose which one in the daytime I tend to go for green because I think that stands out better in um, bright light so there we go it's as simple as that for that and uh, after two seconds it automatically goes back out of the menu okay hold menu in again let's go one two there we go let's move down see what else we've got Okay, INDIC. Okay, we shall go for that. Hit that button to select it. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't do it quick enough. Let, let's do that again. One, two, hold on. One, two. There we go, we're in. Okay, so at the moment, I've got the radio set uh, to show me the SWR when I um, key the mic. Okay, so that would be off, nothing would show. So I've got that set for SWR. If I go for DC, hit that button, okay, and then go out of the menu. When I key the mic, that will show me how much power I have in, um, that the radio is um, receiving from the battery. It's quite useful. <whistles> of course, you notice the, it dropped down. It's quite useful um, for and uh, to let you know if your battery is going down because uh, the people on the other side they will um, if your battery's getting low they'll hear you warbling and, you know. so it's a way of checking that um, your battery is okay all right um, the ideal scenario would be if your home base to have a, um, a power supply but um, of course if um, you were using this in your car and the engine was off you would soon yeah, by doing that you would know that the battery is going down okay so let's go back into the menu again hit it for two seconds okay we'll go back into there hit that button um, let's go for the SWR hit that okay we'll get out of that I won't touch anything, Look, you'll see in a second, there you go, it's automatically got out of the menu. All right, so I've got it set for SWR, you can see it just there, I key the mic, there we go, 01.1, that's my SWR reading, okay. Um, I've tested it um, against a um, separate SWR meter and it, it seems seems accurate. Um, but uh, uh, it's just handy to know as you're using the radio if you suddenly see it going into three you've no, you know you've got a loose connection somewhere okay um, there is other menus in there that you can go through um, I'm not going to go through all of those but um, yeah basically that covers the menu I will cover um, one other section in this video it's the um, scan facility which is quite useful so let's go out of here let's I'll go to the um, UK 40 there we go change to change the mode from USB press that press that and there we go okay I'm gonna put auto squelch on to get auto squelch you just as I showed on one of the other videos you move that down to the bottom or if you want to squelch 
that you want it set as, move it there. I'm going to put it on auto. Now the auto squelch um, does not work on um, sideband. Okay, so hit that. And what that's going to do, as you can see, that's going through the frequencies. Okay, and the channels. Frequencies or channels, however you want it. There we go. So, okay, that covers those. And that proves it works. Okay, I hope that's useful. So, um, join us on the next one. Thank you. And um, don't forget, we've got the Facebook group, the East Midlands uh, DX group, this group that I'm uh, trying to get together. So, um, please join that. And uh, that's where these uh, videos will be posted. Thank you.